This exercise will help you to get out from under your detrimental limiting beliefs. Every night before going to sleep, and this is very important, before going to sleep, think about, or even better write down on paper what you are grateful for. So you should create a list of things you are thankful for. And it is important to do it before going to sleep. Because this is the time when your critical mind is tired and you won't fight you as much as if you do this in the morning or during the day. So I want you to fall asleep with feeling of gratitude, with feeling that your life is good and abundant. So before you go to sleep, your inner critic does not have the energy to fight you. And this is the time, this is the best time when you um, should write things that you are grateful for. Here are some examples of what you might write down. Maybe you had a nice conversation uh, with your friend today. So you can write down that you are grateful to have such a good friend in your life. Another example, maybe you went to a gym today and you can write down that you are grateful to yourself for taking care of your body. Or you are grateful to the gym owner for opening uh, a gym near your house. Maybe uh, today you went to the store and uh, the person at the cash, cash register uh, was very nice to you and friendly. So you can write down that you are grateful to live in such a nice neighborhood. So every day, just little by little, expand your list of things that you are grateful for. You can write small things, you can write big things, it does not matter. The most important that you should have a long list of things that you're grateful for. So that's, this is how you're going to train your brain to live in an abundance mentality. When you're going to see a long list of things that you're grateful for, of good things. So you can call it as your list of gratitude or your journal of gratitude.